Hey friends, and welcome to our WhatsApp session on importing your contacts and sending out a broadcast to either your entire database or a filtered audience. The first thing I'm going to teach you in this session is how you can take your existing contacts from your CRM or your billing platform and bring them into ManyChat. We're also going to learn about tools that you can use to extract all the phone numbers on your phone's WhatsApp and how to send them a massive message using the marketing templates or utility templates we learned about in the last session. So let's get to it. Inside of ManyChat, you're going to find that on the left hand panel, you're going to see a little person. This is the contact section. If you have connected your WhatsApp channel, you are going to automatically see the import button over here. Let's click on it and see what happens. So in order to import contacts into ManyChat, I have to select a CSV file containing the contacts to import into the platform. These are comma separated value files, and I'm going to teach you how to do one right now. So let's imagine that this is a database that you have taken out of either your CRM or your billing platform. In this particular example, I am using Google Sheets to convert this file into a CSV. We're going to click on File, Download, and download as comma separated values. Once you have dragged and dropped that file into the ManyChat page, you're going to confirm that you have obtained the appropriate consent to send SMS, email, or other types of messages from the contacts being created or imported. Then you're going to click next. ManyChat is going to automatically recognize all of the columns on your file and give you the option to import them. I'm only going to import three of these columns, being the full name, the WhatsApp ID, and the email for the user. You're going to click Next, and you are given the option to add a tag to this segment that you are uploading. I highly recommend that you name it the date that you're uploading it, and any other information that is going to help you find this segment of your audience quickly and easily. Last but not least, we're going to click Confirm Import. Problem is, I don't have a CRM and I don't have a billing platform. What I do have is WhatsApp on my phone and I kind of need to talk to everyone that I have on it right now with WhatsApp API. How can I take that existing contact list and put it into MediChat? Well, here's where things get a little bit tricky. As of today, WhatsApp's API does not have a native way in which we can take the existing contacts and put them into any third-party platforms. Thankfully, some tech-savvy people have created bridge tools that you can utilize to extract your contact list from WhatsApp. One of those tools is the WAXP contact exporter for WhatsApp that you can find on the Chrome Web Store. It is nothing more than an extension that you add to your Chrome page, open WhatsApp Web, and it is going to automatically take all of your contacts from your WhatsApp Web and put them into a CSV file. Then you can repeat the steps that I just showed you in order to import them into ManyChat. Keep in mind, tools like this one are not officially approved by Meta, nor are they officially approved by ManyChat to use. So now that we have done that, let's go in and create a WhatsApp broadcast. Next, you're going to go into the arrow icon and click on Broadcasts. Inside of the broadcast section, you're going to click New Broadcast and select WhatsApp. In case you didn't know, ManyChat has an entire team working on AI implementations to make your bot building faster, smoother, and way more enjoyable. So here we have two options. We can either start with AI or start from scratch. Let's click start from scratch just so you know how that looks. One of my favorite features about the broadcast interface is that you can either select an existing template or you can compose a new message, be that utility or marketing templates for your broadcast. In this case, we're going to select an existing template. Now that we have selected the template that we want to send out, let's pick who is going to get this broadcast. You're going to click here where it says target audience and you will be shown the total number of contacts that you already have on your WhatsApp list. If you wanted to create conditions to segment this further, all you have to do is click condition. And let's say we only want to send it to people who subscribed before the 1st of July. This is going to update the amount of contacts that are going to receive this particular broadcast. You can even filter by tags or any other user fields that you have created on your automations before. So there you go. That's how you import your contact list and send a broadcast. On our next lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create evergreen marketing campaigns that you can have living on your automations perpetually.
See you there.